everybody, Rose Matter here. Welcome to part four of my Persona 5 Dancing in Starlight Let's Play. It's good to get back into this game. Took a little break for the holidays, but uh, yeah, I'm excited to jump in and uh, pick up where we left off. All right, so these are the songs that I unlocked last time. So playing is on again. It's actually been a while since I've got one of her songs. So I'm excited to get into this. Do we have any new costumes for her? All right, we're just gonna keep her as is. Let's let's jump into this. All right, we got uh, we've got two people here. On's got a little bit of a posse going. Let's go. This will be a breeze. On, show us the beauty within you. I feel like I'm gonna be a little bit rusty. Uh, Yusuke dancing with on it kind of looks like he's just creeping on her the whole time. Thanks, Yusuke. You look sharp. Very elegant. <laughs> You're too sexy, Yusuke. Well, on, don't say things like that. You're gonna give him ideas. Don't hold back. Knock him out. That one went pretty well. Brilliant. There we go, no misses. Holy crap! I want to be sexy like that too. Yeah, compared to the first song I did with On, I felt that one was uh, quite a bit easier. Ah, oh, now we've got. Uh, haven't uh, played as Morgana in a while either. I feel like I gotta switch up his outfit. Oh my god, little Igus! That is so cute. Uh, 
Okay, we gotta go with that one. That is pretty cute. <laughs> There's the dream team right there. <laughs> awesome. All right, it's show time. You can do it. Oh my god, he's so little and cute. He looks so cute in the Aegis costume. I don't think unless something's really gonna have to come along that's gonna be really special. Otherwise, I think he's just gonna be wearing this the rest of the game. Beautiful. Just beautiful. If Yusuke says it, it must be true. I'll steal all of your heart. I dig in this remix, I gotta say. This is exciting! Seriously, this is just epic! That's it. Lovely! Ooh. Oh, it's on! Ooh. Yeah! Getting me excited. Me too. In more ways than one. Is this uh, Ryuji's first time dancing with Morgan? I'm surprised about that. <laughs> Oh my god! Holy crap! Oh my god! Wow! Man, it looks like being away from the game for a little bit is actually doing better for me than I thought. As I have all of the uh, people I thought I would get... I, well, first of all, I didn't think I was going to get a King Crazy, but definitely not with Morgana. Cool, I'll take it. Oh, now that I've got that there, though, now that I have one, I just want to go and get it for every song. And let's check out Yusuke's costumes as well. I want to add some stuff to him. I mean, when I think Yusuke, I think of accessorizing, right? 
Oh, he looks good with glasses, actually. I'm surprised he doesn't wear glasses naturally. It just suits him very well. Oh, yes. Hell yes. On oh, those pink glasses. Yeah. Okay, I like it. I just want to accessorize all of them. A fitting stage. Hit us with your artsy moves, Yusuke. Yeah, maybe I over accessorize. I feel like just the glasses would have been perfect. Well, that sounds a little faster. Yes. I'm excited for the next song because we finally get to have Makoto dance again. I think she's only had one song herself. All right, brilliant. Wow, I just want to keep watching. Yeah, keep it coming. Hmm, your senses are top tier. I've absorbed your fighting spirit. You're both doing great. Keep it up. Your fists are sharper than usual, Makoto. Yeah, that's it. Don't hold anything back. Back King Crazies. I'm doing really well this episode. Such perfection with no compromise in beauty. I think I should take breaks from this game more often. Sweet. Alright, I think before I jump into Makoto's song, we are gonna do some social links. Man, still can't do any of Makoto's. All right, let's do Yusuke. It's funny, someone told me that um, I have to like basically do Makoto's in order to unlock more costumes, and she's the one that I just can't seem to be able to unlock any of the social links for. Oh, there's my little cinnamon roll. Haru is practicing by herself. Are you two here for some practice? Yes. You too, Haru. Yep. 
But I'm at a bit of a loss. What's the issue? As I was thinking about my dance, I got carried away. I started incorporating ideas one after another, and now I'm not sure what it is I want to achieve. I see. This is a common trap for those involved in creative work. You should take the opposite approach. First and foremost, meticulously narrow down your theme. When a new idea emerges, you then determine whether it's in accordance with said theme. I have to say, of, of like the dynamics between the group, I think I like Yusuke and Haru because I, I don't know, I just feel like in real life they actually would get, get to like get along together quite well. Oftentimes you're better off discarding ideas entirely rather than deviating from the theme. Okay, I'm saying sheer brilliance, but I want you guys to understand I'm saying this sarcastically because like I said, I want to play the protagonist as kind of a dick. Please, I only stated what I've been taught. Narrowing down your theme. That sounds difficult. Not at all, so long as you compare it to a similar approach. For example, being thrifty. Oh, yeah, that might be pretty close in terms of limiting yourself. Haru's like, I would have no idea because I'm rich as balls. So, first give us an example of how you... <laughs> oh, I can't wait to hear this. Let's see. Frugal. When I need groceries, I go to a large warehouse store in the suburbs. I buy in bulk, like a hundred count of croissants or ten whole turkeys. <laughs> One hundred count to ten turkeys? It's a bit of a hassle having to be taken there by car and whatnot. Oh, poor Harry, like she doesn't even realize she's just like so privileged. But she's trying. She's trying and she... Oh, and then poor Yusuke is just like... <laughs> Meanwhile, he starves himself because he's got no money. But it ends up cheaper than buying smaller amounts of groceries more often. Her analogy is quite, no, vastly different from what I had in mind. That's still cute that Haru tries to be frugal despite the fact that she's got a ton of money and she doesn't have to. She's upper class. She's, she's one of the better people. Wait, is this what you mean about narrowing down the theme? Like... I want both croissants and turkeys, but I should choose which to actually buy? Well, you could say so. But croissants or turkeys? Such a vexing decision. Then, how about this theme? Take everything I want! <laughs> Indeed, that is one way of thinking. I feel like I have a clearer picture of what I want to do. Okay, this <laughs> felt like this conversation just went right over my head. There's a solid image in my head now. Good. Then practice while that image is still vivid until you've grasped it firmly. I can accompany you if you'd like. He's like, especially if you're going to the grocery store and please give me some food because I am a hungry boy. <laughs> I watched them practice for a while, then quietly returned to my room. But yeah, I like the dynamic between these two. Yeah, let, let's keep on going. With the with Haru. Haru and Futaba are here. Hey Al, perfect timing. You wanna give me a hand? I'm trying to figure out Haru's weaknesses. You know it. Finding weaknesses is what being a navigator is all about. It's a toughie, though. She's rich, gentle, beautiful, a great dancer, and honest, too. That's right. Everybody loves Haru. Haru is best girl. She has no weaknesses. It's like she's cheating at the game of life. Please, I'm really not that special. <sighs> Humble as well. She's virtually flawless. Hey. Why don't you try and see if you can think of a weakness? Whatever pops into your head. Oh, this feels like I'm attacking a puppy right now. I'm guessing her grades don't suck. I bet you she's very smart too. Uh, she's not a ditz. I'll say she's sheltered. Th that's not true at all. I'm just like the rest of you. Question, how much is one pack of instant yakisoba? Well, um, I don't think they have that at my supermarket. Ugh, this isn't a weakness <laughs> at all. 
Pearl probably has more money than she knows what to do with. Man, you're a tough nut to crack, Haru. But there's gotta be something. Uh, wait, I thought of one. Electronics in general are a serious issue for me. You could even say I'm technologically challenged. Oh my gosh, I love her even more. This, it's funny, despite the fact I have a YouTube channel, I'm the same way, like, technology and me just don't seem to get along a lot of times. I seem to have a lot of technical issues when it comes to, like, trying to put out videos or edit videos or <laughs> anything like that. So I get her. Mm. It's kind of cheating if you tell me yourself, but I'll accept it. Go on. Well, I still don't know how to use a smartphone, and upgrading to a new model is awfully stressful. Beyond that, I have practically no knowledge of the internet. <laughs> I always end up on the Okay, I'm not sites. that incompetent. Although, I will admit, I only upgraded to a smartphone about two or three years ago. I had a flip phone um, up until a couple of years ago, so... But now I have my smartphone and I can't go back. And I I want to know what sites Haru goes on. One time, I stumbled upon a man talking about shady commodities. My heart nearly stopped. Oh, Haru, I'm sure, yes, you accidentally stumbled. We all know that she has a secret dark side. So Haru's weak to tech. Analysis complete. A fascinating result. <laughs> I'm glad to hear. It kind of makes me happy, actually. Wait, why? We found out your weakness. Yes, but... That means I got to open up to you a little more. There's still a great deal we don't know about each other, after all. Also the fact, like... So, at least with my game, she is my girlfriend. I should know this already. I should have known her weakness, but... I kept it to myself. But if we keep having conversations like this one, it won't be long until we're all best friends. I hadn't thought of it like that before. Oh. She's such a cinnamon roll. Oh, oh my god, I love it. I love it. I love it. Everyone thinks she's a cinnamon roll. It's not just me. <laughs> and I love Futaba for saying that too. And even if we all of these all people, of we wake up, we'll have plenty of chances to bond in the real world. All of the phantom thieves, they are all my cinnamon rolls. I love all of them in their own way. Haru seems overjoyed. Oh, my apologies. I didn't mean to change the topic. I'll be required to work with technology sometime down the line, so I'd like to overcome this issue. In that case, I'll teach you whatever you want to know. I'm your one-stop shop for all things techie. I appreciate that, but it may not be as simple as you think. I really don't know much. Until recently, <laughs> I thought booting your PC meant literally kicking it. <laughs> oh my god, I love her oh, so much. You weren't kidding. Fine. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm the original Medjed, remember? One more thing. No matter what I do, every computer I touch stops working all of a sudden. Well, maybe if you stop kicking them. Even brand new ones. Nobody can explain why. Not even the repair technicians. It's always been like that. I think I've taken in my current computer maybe ten times. Oh. I've heard urban legends about people like you. You're not weak to tech at all. If anything, I think it's weak to you. After cheering up the defeated Futaba, I returned to my room. Okay, uh, let's talk to one more person. Let's talk to Ryuji. And then we'll get back to some more songs. I arrive at Club Velvet. Yusuke is having a lot of airtime in this episode. Ryuji and Yusuke are here. Come to think of it, we never heard much about your high school, Yusuke. Kosei, right? What's it like? It's pretty sad. All of these guys are just like having all these conversations and learning more about each other, and they wake up and all of this will be forgotten. Our school traditionally places value on the individuality of each student. Its art program is intertwined with university preparation and aims to foster diverse skill sets. That's not what I'm talking about. I'll be straight up. Oh my god, of course. Of course. Any of them pop the old aesthetic radar? Eh? Aesthetic radar. Indeed, that occurs rather frequently. Oh yeah? Fill us in! All living beings hold undisclosed beauty. Only in fleeting moments is that beauty exposed. Ryuji's like, and you lost me. As an artist, I refuse to allow even the slightest glimpse of it to escape my gaze. It is for this reason that I carry my aesthetic antenna high in the air. With this approach, my radar is always going off. 
Rudy's like, I meant boner. That's what I meant by aesthetic. <laughs> You're missing the point. <laughs> uh, let's try this again. Are the girls cute? I see. So that was your intention. Come on, Yusuke. You've hung around Ryuji enough. You, you should realize that's what he meant. If I were to use my own definition, the answer may not be relevant to you. I must know your tastes. My tastes? Let's see. If I had to choose, I guess I'd go with a toned fit girl with a nice tan. But I gotta say, it's hard to pass up the shy bookie type with glasses, too. So in summary, you have no preferences <laughs> at all. Simply put, you are a desperate scavenger. Ugh, do you have to say it like that? Not denying it, though. Let us move on from such pitiful convictions. Joker, what qualities do you value in a woman? I'll take anything. Oh, that's horrible, but I'll say that. So you would accept any and all with open arms? <laughs> you are the very portrait of a gentleman. That's one way to phrase it. What the hell? He said the same thing I did. If anything, it was even worse. Shall I go next? The kind of woman I desire would surely be... Don't care. Enough out of you. Aw, oh, hey. I want to know. Um. Man, it's kind of nice getting to have some normal-ass guy talk. Indeed. The Phantom Thieves kept us so occupied, we sorely lacked this kind of opportunity. Here we are, just shooting the shit and dancing our hearts out. Is this a reward for all the crap we went through? Man, good thing I busted my ass. Ryuji looks happy. This experience has been peculiar, but not at all unpleasant. Let us enjoy ourselves to the fullest. Kinda sucks that we're just gonna forget it, though. If I suddenly showed up at school with mad dance skills, things would really turn around for... Wait, what if it's second? <laughs> I just remembered who else goes to Kosei. That shogi playing beauty. You've met her before, right? In the, in the church? What's she like? Oh, I forgot what her name was. <laughs> I'm just gonna say we're friends. God damn it. You get all the luck. Jeez, your connections are a freaking mystery, man. You even got the in with a hot doctor. There's got to be more where she came from. Come on, man. Hook us up. Oh, Ryuji's because I'm the protagonist. And that's what happens in these games is I get all the hookups. Oh, oh, God. I'm going to say there's the teacher, you know, our teacher. You didn't even have to think about it. There must be a ton of them. They say that all's fair in love and war. We need to set the record straight. You're going to tell us everything. Prepare yourself. Yeah, time to let the cat out of the bag. I brace myself for the barrage of questions. I should head back to my room. I'm unlocking a lot of the boys uh, stuff, but uh, not many of the girls. But at least we got some new accessories and costumes, so... All right, finally, we're gonna see Makoto dance again. I haven't really uh, messed around with her too much. She doesn't really have much to unlock, unfortunately. So, 70s glasses. Oh, those are cute. I think those will look good on on. I kind of like these glasses on her. Kind of give her like a little bit of a... Well, I was going to say kind of a biker chick look to her. And she does kind of have that tough look going on, but... Cool shades. I think those might actually be a little bit better for her. Yeah, let's go with the cool shades. But I definitely want to put those heart glasses on on. <laughs> Basically, everybody's going to be wearing sunglasses by the time, or some sort of glasses by the time I'm done. Okay, let's go. All right, get the job done. Got it. 
is how you cheer. Go, fight it, win! Come here, come here! Getting high! All right, brilliant! Great timing! Wonderful! Indeed, your dancing is impressive. Oh, this one's fast. No! No three king crazies in a row, unfortunately. I like your moves, Futaba. See ya! Got it! Good! Woo! <laughs> go, go, go! <laughs> You're getting hype, huh? Yeah! Got it! Impressive! Doing so well. Yeah. Lovely. Good. Huh. Getting high. All right, I'm joining in. Woo! <laughs> Like you're having a lot of fun here. Yeah, go for it! Thanks for all the fun, Mona. It's nice to know King Crazy. I thought King Crazy was getting, you had to get everything perfect. So knowing that as long as you get perfect or great, I think with some practice, I could probably get King Crazy on most of these songs. So that's, that's something I think I'm gonna have to go back and do. All right, so I'm literally playing it over the opening, okay. at least. Brilliant. Yes! Oh my, Persona Super Live P-Sound Bomb 2017. Well, I mean, I'm excited to play that. Oh, we got the girls version. I was saying before, I was like, we better have a girls version of like them doing the, uh, the instruments. Okay. 
I mean, it's kind of a bummer that it's not like them dancing, but okay, let's do this one because I'm really interested to see it. And then let's do some more Seltzer Links. Oh, that is cool. It's all kind of like a uh, film noir kind of style femme fatale. Oh, well, I mean, this isn't quite what I was expecting. I was hoping the girls would get to, you know, be a little band and play the instruments instead they're all like sexed up. Especially considering that they're high schoolers, it feels a little weird. I get they're kind of go with like a Chicago style. Maybe I'm a little bit of a prude, but I'm like, I just want to get some clothes on them. <laughs> oh, it just gets worse. Ah, oh, now they're in the bathing suit. <laughs> So why, why couldn't they have been like the guys and got to like be a band? Why do they have to be in the skimpy outfits? I'm not doing so great on this one. It's a little distracting, not gonna lie. actually pretty hard too. Yeah, not great. Not great. Didn't care for that one <laughs> for multiple reasons. Brilliant. I am shocked I still got brilliant on that. I feel like I did really bad. Ah, uh, that felt just, I don't know. Maybe, uh, like I said, maybe I'm oversensitive. Maybe I'm a little bit of a prude and maybe it's because I'm a little bit of an old lady, but I'm just like, oh, it just feels weird having like, what, 17 year olds all dressed up like that and dancing around. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, great, and they get corset dresses. I don't think I'm gonna be putting those on. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a break from that. We're gonna do some more social links. <sighs> Still no Makoto. Oh my gosh, I can't. Okay, let's do Futaba. I arrive at Club Velvet. Futaba is here. Guess what, guess what? I heard that back in the day, there was a worldwide disco boom. Sojiro told me about it. Did you know that? 
Of course, because I know everything. Wait, huh? Wait, is that common knowledge? <gasps> Maybe even Sojiro got disco fever on Saturday nights back in the day. Sojiro dancing? <laughs> Now that's a mental image. Can Sojiro... Can, oh, duh, let's try saying that name again. Can Sojiro... Wow, I'm having a really hard time saying his name. I would love to have him be an unlockable character. Oh, God. Oh, this feels so wrong to say, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> well, some people do have a thing for middle-aged men. But forget the disco. Even without it, he's... I'm surprised she took that so well. She's really like, oh, God, I'm scrubbing that mental image out of my head. The regulars at LeBlanc, that old lady at the smoke shop, even the doggy next door. Yep, even the little girls in the neighborhood love him. That's worth a lot of points. And my mom must have cared for him too. Anyway, Sochiro's got that refined, mature appeal, like black coffee. Maybe that's why he's popular. Futaba seems proud for some reason. She's like, yeah, he's getting all the girls. <laughs> a weird thing to be proud of. Hmm. I wonder what you'll be like when you're older. Got any role models? Oh, boy. Oh, I can't remember who that person is. Uh, Tora. Oh, that name's familiar. I'm just gonna say not really. Huh? No one at all? Well, even when you're old and creaky, you'll still be yourself. I'd be sad if you changed too much. That's no good. Yeah, just be like this, but old. <laughs> Utapa's deciding this all on her own. By the way, I want to grow up to be like my mom. I won't be just any old lady. My mom was kind, smart, basically the greatest adult of all time. It's not going to be easy, but I've got genetics on my side. I can do this. I spent a while chatting, then returned to my room. A dog tail? Okay, we're gonna definitely be putting that on someone at some point. Okay, let's do... Um, we're getting pretty close to Justine. Oh boy, we're almost at the end, aren't we? I wonder what happens if I do get to the end of theirs. Does that mean that it's gonna jump to, like, the end of the game? So maybe I'll hold off on that one for a bit. So let's talk to On. On and Ryuji are here. Are those twins gonna dance too? They would be so cute. Why are girls so quick to throw that word around? So cute. Hell, you say it about everything. I, I got no clue what your standards are. Oh, Ryuji, don't even talk about, like, standards with girls. You, like, said before that you would basically get with anyone who showed you any attention. Well, Ryuji, I don't think you could ever understand the sensitive intuition of a woman. Oh, shut up. Uh, let's ask him, then. Starting with the people we know. Oh boy. Well, I mean, that's. There's no question there. Wait, you're asking him that? They're all cute in their own way. Don't think too hard. Just who would you pick if you had to choose? I'm sorry, On. I know you're right here, but I mean, Haru is my girlfriend, so I kind of got to have to go with her. Totally. You can tell she's a high class chick from the second you look at her. On's like, I am right here, guys. She's so kind and elegant. Oh, she is actually. Yeah, Ahn's not really the jealous type, so I don't know why I thought she would get upset about that. But then you see her whacking enemies with that huge axe. And that's what I love about Haru is like she seems all like prim and proper, but then she has like a surprisingly dark side. That's not cute at all. Well, you're kind of crossing the line there, but looks like even you understand cuteness, Ryuji. Huh? There isn't really a single definition. Cute applies to whatever nice things catch your eye. It's just a feeling, you know? When you see something you like, it comes out naturally. That's why every girl in the Phantom Thieves is equally adorable. Got it? Okay, okay. <laughs> Whatever you say. Talking like this is making me realize how everyone on the team is so unique. That's the thing, and I, I really do. I like everybody in the Phantom Thieves. There isn't one of them I don't like, which is very rare for these types of games. Uh, in like RPGs, usually there's at least one character that I'm just like, eh, I'm not a big fan of them, or they put me off, but very rarely does that happen in the Persona games. A single word like cute just doesn't cut it. Everyone shines in their own special way. Better keep up or you're gonna be left in the dust. It is unreal how cool we all are. <laughs> I think the same thing whenever I watch you guys dance. 
Everyone's so awesome. I don't want to be left behind. I'll use that feeling to work even harder. Oh, on you are very generous, especially. I think she's just saying that because Rudy's right there. She doesn't want to hurt his feelings. Yeah, dancing is all about individuality. I'm gonna give it my all. On seems motivated. I practice with On and Ryuji, then return to my room. All right, I'm unlocking a lot of costumes in this one. Makes me happy. Okay, um, how far am I with, uh, so I'm almost done Ryuji. Morgana, not a lot. Yusuke, I'm pretty much almost there. Oh, I'm really tempted. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm guessing I have to wait until I finish all the songs before I can, like, have the finale. Like, I don't think getting to the end of their social link's really gonna make a difference. The twins drop by my room. There you are. Are you taking a break? Mm. Hello to you too, <laughs> inmate. It'd be an utter embarrassment if you managed to lose, so we decided to come check on you. Huh. This room is spot on if I do say so myself. You must be totally clueless how we made it. Show your astonishment, inmate! It was nothing out of the ordinary. We simply utilized your cognition. Without distortions, its true nature came through clearly. I'm sure you are familiar. You're ruining the magic! Unlike our elder sister, we are largely unaware of the outside world. Not true! Are you trying to tell him we're stupid? If you think yourself more experienced, then what is that? That... <laughs> blue gray tube like device beside the chair she must mean the bucket oh that it's used for that's right it's for covering your head you put it on and protect yourself from any attacks. <laughs> hm, the chin strap is a dead giveaway it's not too far off from their own hats actually i've heard this armor has saved countless lives you'd better treasure it inmate I see. You're very knowledgeable. Where did you learn all this? Shall we examine a few more things? Myriad items are begging to make themselves known. What are those? They look akin to sandbags filled with small pebbles. That's ammunition! Load up your gun with that stuff, and you can rain hell on your enemies! What about that? It has two wheels. Is it a vehicle? Ha! Huh. Don't be fooled by appearances! <laughs> that is an instrument! I could just have an hour of these two just trying to guess what real world items actually are. You hold it here, then spin it as hard as you can. Whoa! The twins rummage around my room for a while. That was rather enlightening. I feel as if I finally understand the outside world. It's a good start, but only one room. Hey, inmate! You'd better show us around more someday! Are you saying we're too much of a nuisance to you, inmate? Complain all you want, but you don't have a choice in the matter. Better make the most of it. We prepared this room for your ultimate comfort, so I expect you to be ready and raring to go! Dance like your life depends on it! Isn't it time you went back on stage? Caroline is eagerly awaiting your next performance. As the night goes on, she grows more and more anxious. It's as if she can hardly contain herself. Uh, hey, <laughs> that's... I cannot have peace of mind while she is like this. For Caroline's sake, you must take to the stage as often as you possibly can. Speak for your own damn self! Don't use me as a puppet for your twisted feelings! <laughs> no, that's not what I meant! You need to keep dancing for your rehabilitation and our victory! I wonder if there even is gonna be a competition at the end, or they just like to see us dance. <laughs> just be honest. No way! I can't let him know that I'm into it! <laughs> After an awkward silence, the twins walked out. Oh! Oh boy! Event for Rank 6 and Beyond have been added. In addition to completing a Rank's requirement, you must also complete the previous Ranks before viewing the next one. Oh my god, it just keeps going on! Is that just for Justine and Caroline, or is that all of them? 
this game is might be a little bit longer than I thought it would be. Alright, so that will wrap it up for another episode of my Persona 5 Dancing in Starlight Let's Play. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one. Until next time, bye guys.